Hey, what's up? Sam here. Ever since the breakout of the coronavirus, we've seen numerous types of face masks on the market. I personally have reviewed some masks, like the normal K95 ones, even the electric ones. And today, I'm sharing with you my use experience of yet another interesting face mask, the Pumi Transparent Gas Mask. Of course, Pumi has two other colors, the black and the white one, and Pumi was kind enough to send me the black one as well. Out of the box, we have the silicone polymer face piece. My first impression was it's soft and lightweight. We have two bags of K95 particles feeders, 20 pieces in total, an English manual, and of course, some accessories to assemble to let you wear the mask properly. Speaking of the assembly, there's one thing I have to complain about the Pumi. The manual is confusing and a little bit difficult to understand. But luckily, my Brazilian friend Simi has helped me out. Yes, she has done a review about the Pumi mask as well. Make sure to check out her channel. Link is in the description. So to use it, you first need to open the cover of the pot and then place the N95 filter. Make sure the side with up text is facing outside into the cover. Before I was trying to stuff the feeder into the power case, which is not right because you see the feeder started to shrivel and there will be some gap between the feeder and the base. I guess this is not my fault as I found some reviewers made the same mistake as mine on YouTube. I think Pumi better optimize your manual a little bit. And then install the base onto the face piece, put the corresponding strap on and then screw tight the power. Repeat the above steps for the other side. And you are good to go with the standard setup. Very interesting, Pumi is providing another setup, one with filtering. I think this is a small design. Basically, in this way you can save one filter each use while at the same time maintaining the same protection level. You install the blue inhale valve from inside of the right power base as the video shows, and then put it on the cover with the filter. While for the left side, you install the green axial valve from outside. For this side, you don't need to put in the N95 feeder, just the cover. All right, I've been using it for a couple of days and here's my use experience. The first question you might have maybe is the exact same as mine. Is this thing safe? Well, I guess it's safe because when I wear it, I can feel there's no gap between my face and the mask due to the soft material Pyramid is using. That means there's less luck that you're going to inhale those unfiltered air. Even sometimes when I wear the mask upside down, I can still feel the mask fits my face tightly. But please don't do that. And now I'm going to talk about the Pumi mask's comfortability. I'm feeling fine with it. It's heavier than a normal surgical mask that we mostly seen on the market, but lighter than some of the electric masks I've tested before. So I would say the wearing comfort is between the two, but compared to those normal surgical masks, this thing protects you better with K95 filtering ability. And one really good thing is the adjustable elastic strap. You can always adjust them to fit your head snugly. Not only that, when you don't feel the need to wear the mask, you can just hang the mask on your neck. That's really convenient. You may also want to know the breathability. From my experience, I can breathe freely without a problem, not feeling stuffy or something. However, one without setup is a little bit harder to breathe than the standard setup. Of course, just like all the products, there are some downsides as well. One is when you are talking, the sound will get muffled. And this is what it sounds like from a normal surgical mask. And you have to speak louder, uh, closer to subject. But hey, keep the social distancing. Second is the size. I think it fits most Asians snugly, but it would be difficult for those with large faces. So if that's something you care, better check the size before you buy. Despite all those imperfections, I still recommend this one mainly because it's K95 veterinary ability and should be safer than most surgical masks and you know, it features PM 2.5. Second is the price, since it's washable and you only need to change the N95 feeders, which overall could save you lots compared to those normal face masks. Third is the comfortability, or at least I'm feeling comfortable when I wear it. I especially like the soft material and the elastic 
strap design. All right, that's the video compared to wearing a mask. What's even more important is keep social distancing and wash your hands frequently. Stay safe, my friends. I'm Sammy, and I will see you in the next one. She has a bigger face, so that was a little too small for him. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the I like the straps on yeah. the ears because this one you can adjust.